Compte Verney is an art gallery housed within a historic uh, country house in rural Warwickshire and we have around 120 acres of, of capability brown designed landscape but what differentiates us from other historic houses is the fact that um, as an organisation we're, we're quite young, we will celebrate our 20th anniversary in 2024. Compton Verney was established uh, in the 90s by our founder, Sir Peter Moores, who had a vision to create a gallery located in the centre of the country and which would give people in our local area the opportunity to see the very best uh, contemporary and historic art. We're standing now in our current exhibition, Portraits from the National Portrait Gallery. And this is an exhibition which has been curated in partnership as part of their skills and knowledge um, exchange programme. We've been able to borrow 10 loans from the National Portrait Gallery's collection, which are displayed alongside historic portraits from our own collection to explore the contemporary relevance of portraiture and also start to think about um, themes of representation. The starting point when curating the display um, really began with looking at our own collection of portraits um, starting to think about who is represented. It quickly became apparent that we don't have a strong representation of, of local people um, within our portraiture collection. So we want to ensure that our exhibitions and displays um, reflect the, the communities which are um, on our doorstep in Birmingham, in Coventry and Leamington. Our portraiture collection um, was, was put together by our founder, Sir Peter Moores, and um, it was really uh, brought together based on um, the kinds of, of, of sitters that featured within the school curriculum. So we have portraits of, of, of various monarchs and, and military leaders of the past. Um, but with this display, we really wanted to think about who people might choose to represent within a portraiture collection like this um, today, and how that might differ to, to those sitters that we're used to seeing. I started to identify themes um, which could be used to group um, portraits. And so once we identified these themes, uh, we could start to figure out which sitters and portraits might hang together. Um, and this gave us an opportunity to really uh, mix up the media within the exhibition so that we could include not only historic paintings, but photographs, videos, and types of works which aren't currently represented within our collection to explore the, the real versatility of, of portraiture and um, demonstrate really how the genre of portraiture has developed since uh, sort of the mid-19th century, which is really the point at which our own collection stops. One of the things which the collaboration with the National Portrait Gallery has allowed us to do um, is start to use our collections in, in new ways. At Compton Verney, one of our, our key programme um, strategies is to ensure that we can use our historic collections to um, discuss themes which have been perhaps overlooked or underrepresented in the past. Another of the key themes that we're exploring through the exhibition is the notion of um, the public versus the private um, persona. So the grouping here um, of Queen Elizabeth I and um, the Birmingham-born um, Turner Prize winning artist uh, Gillian Waring. Elizabeth, of course, reigned for around 44 years, uh, but during that time she sat for relatively few artists. So portraits of the Queen were often painted from a sort of government-approved um, pattern and uh, particularly in the face, uh, giving rise to this um, so-called mask of youth whereby um, the Queen's features remained remarkably similar throughout the course of her long reign and she appeared um, sort of to be ageless and otherworldly as a result of that. Very much a, a, a public image that's been constructed in a similar way, um, artist Gillian Waring uses uh, masks and prosthetics in her portraiture and many of her works explore this notion of the public self and the private self and the things which we um, maybe conceal and keep to ourselves as opposed to what we decide to share. In this image by Johnny Shan Kidd, um, we can see the artist peering from behind a screen so it seems to suggest that that barrier, that sort of difference between the public and private, what's obscured and what's shared. We were also keen to demonstrate 
the, the wide variety of different approaches to portraiture. So to, to show um, our school groups and young people who have visited the exhibition um, just how versatile the, the genre can be and, and really what can constitute a portrait. Maybe that's uh, a performance, maybe it's a video, um, maybe it is a painted picture or a photograph. The collaboration has also given us an opportunity to um, share our, our knowledge, um, our successes and, and celebrate those, but also um, the challenges that we face within a, a real safe space and a forum where um, all sorts of issues can be discussed and shared. To be able to borrow so many works from the National Portrait Gallery's collection has given us a real opportunity to start to think about identity and representation in relation to our own collection and to test out ways in which we might be able to explore such themes in the future through long-term loans and contemporary interventions and with a number of our other permanent collections we are instigating a series of artist residencies uh, and new commissions to start to explore uh, more contemporary themes and also to represent artists within our local region. And so this exhibition and the collaboration with the National Portrait Gallery has given us the perfect opportunity uh, to do this.